Earth's place in the universe. The universe is made up of billions of galaxies. Each single galaxy can contain billions of stars. The stars in these galaxies, much like our sun, can have planets orbiting them and planets can have moons orbiting them in turn. The Earth has one moon which orbits it and in turn the Earth orbits one star which we call the Sun. The Sun is just one of the billions of stars in the galaxy called the Milky Way. The Milky Way is like a massive disk spinning as it travels through space with four arms spiraling out from its center. The Earth and our solar system are a tiny part of one of these arms. The Milky Way is so large that it takes light about a hundred thousand years to travel right across it. The Milky Way is just one of billions of other galaxies in the universe. Human exploration of space started in the late 1950s with the first manned rocket sent into orbit around the Earth. The first men landed on the moon in 1969 followed in 1981 by the first launch of the space shuttle STS-1, a spacecraft that could land back on Earth on a runway like an airplane. The space shuttle was able to take men to and from a space station that constantly orbits the Earth. On the space station, scientists are able to conduct experiments that can only be carried out in weightless conditions. There have been no manned space flights to other planets. However, there have been many unmanned spacecrafts, referred to as probes, sent to other planets and beyond. These probes are loaded with sensor and analytical instruments which send back data to Earth. In the 2014 Rosetta mission, a probe was actually landed on the surface of a comet. Human exploration of space is extremely expensive but has resulted in many new scientific discoveries. Welcome to our solar system. It consists of the Sun and eight other planets. It has Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. To remember these in order, you may use a mnemonic. My very easy method just speeds up names. Simple. The sun is at the center of the solar system. The solar system consists of our sun plus a very large number of differently sized objects that orbit around it. Of the larger objects, there are eight planets that orbit the sun. The planets can be observed with an instrument such as a telescope using reflected light from the Sun. The four planets nearest the Sun are called the inner planets. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets all have surfaces made up of solid rock and they are also known as the terrestrial planets. Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun and is the smallest of all eight planets. It has a very high temperature at its surface because of its position close to the Sun. Venus is similar in size to the Earth. Its atmosphere contains a much higher proportion of carbon dioxide than Earth's atmosphere. The carbon dioxide traps energy through a process called the greenhouse effect. This makes Venus the hottest planet even though it is further from the Sun than Mercury. Earth is the planet we inhabit. It is just the right distance from the sun to have temperatures which are between the freezing and boiling points of water. Hence, it is referred to as the Goldilocks planet since it is not too hot or too cold. Hence, we have liquid water covering most of the Earth's surface. Water as a liquid is essential for life here on Earth. Mars is not as big as the Earth. It appears reddish in color and is known as the red planet. Its color is caused by the iron 3 oxide in its soil. It is a planet that has had many unmanned probes from Earth on its surface. The robotic probes can collect mineral samples and test them, relaying the results back 
to Earth. The four outer planets are larger than the inner planets, and unlike the inner planets, which are made up of mostly rocks, they are made up of mostly gas. They are referred to as the Jovian planets. The gases are very cold, which include hydrogen, helium, supercooled liquids such as ammonia, which is a gas at temperatures found on Earth. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system with a surface made up of bands of turbulent gases. These cause huge storms. The red spot observable on Jupiter is a storm that has lasted for 300 years. The largest of the planets has 67 moons. Saturn is another gas giant like Jupiter, but it is famous for its rings. The rings are made up of tiny particles of dust and ice that orbit around the planet. Saturn has 62 known moons. Uranus is a smaller gas giant. It is much colder than Jupiter or Saturn because it is further from the Sun. Its atmosphere is so cold it contains solid ammonia. It looks like a super blue sphere. Neptune is the furthest planet from the Sun and it has the coldest surface of all eight planets. It is very similar to Uranus but its atmosphere shows evidence of a more turbulent environment with its white clouds and dark spots caused by storms. Please note that the four Jovian planets all have rings. The planets in the solar system rotate around the Sun in elliptical orbits, like slightly squashed circles. The time it takes a planet in days to travel one complete orbit around the Sun is the length of the planet's year. How many days does it take Earth to travel around the Sun? The Moon is a non-luminous body. This means that it does not produce its own light. It reflects light from the sun. An eclipse of the moon occurs when the earth blocks the sun's light from the moon. This is referred to as a lunar eclipse. The sun becomes eclipsed when the moon blocks the sun's light from the earth. This is referred to as a solar eclipse. Thanks for watching 30 Days of Physics with Miss B.